Hello everybody, this is Elisha Keating from wisdomseekers.net. Please feel free to go look at my .net. This is my logo. Anywhere I am, you will find that logo. Phoenix Rampant or the Phoenix Rising. And this is for Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn for June 7th, 2023. And, uh... I have a sense already of what's happening just from doing the earth. This is a day of moving forward. And I always recommend slow, small steps, not big steps. Because it's easier. And we want to come out of this fully alive. Without, we don't want to be shell-shocked or have PTSD or things like that. And with you asked to go fast, the universe will uh, give you fast. Never ask for fast. Always ask for ease and grace. And today, the seventh, is a day of moving forward with ease and grace. All right. So, the first card is the one that's justice card, but I always use it as my my light worker card because. It has the sword that cuts away that which no longer serves. It has the element of the heart, the mat, where mat weighs the heart against the feather. If the heart is as light as a feather, then you can go on to, to heaven. In our case, it's enlightenment, and it has the it has the peacock feathers, which is a symbol of the third eye. And again, we don't become psychic spiritual without becoming psychic because we're returning home to our truths we're returning home to our uh, our roots we devolved into a species that needed language we devolved into into a species that had no communications with the higher selves just because it was a part of it looked interesting why not let's try it it can't be that bad well, it could be that bad if you're living in the physical, but if you're living on the other side, it looks like fun. So we're evolving back to our to who we truly are. And who we truly are is very, very intuitive, very psychic. The King of Cups would it would be the next card up in the King of Cups is the the like foresight. Go looking for things. You have have this ability all of us have this ability. It's whether or not you allow yourself to, to, to have this ability. An example would be, often a good doctor will, will walk into a room or be sitting in the room and the patient walks in and they'll look at them and they'll just have a force that's, okay, I know what's going on. It doesn't mean they don't have to listen to the patient, but they do have this force sense. And that's the same for, for anybody who spends a great deal of time in one particular kind of situation, right? It's just the way it is. And when you get really good at your job with your plumber, you walk in, you, get a, you look at something and go, ah, I know what it is. I might have to find it, but I know what it is. So to, the seventh is a day of allowing this inner knowledge of who you are to come together, to form a, a, a more complete whole inside yourself. It is a day you will have a lot of support to do this. And I'm going to go with guides, angels, ancestors support. Because sometimes we need that invisible support to help us feel more at, more at ease. We can get it from our friends. But they're, but they're also not able to see the whole picture as well as somebody who's on the other side of the energies. It is classed as a mini death when, when we allow things to shift and change and turn. It really is. So a mini death, it's just releasing energy. It's releasing energy in a sometimes a very raw form which means it's, it has no imprint on it. You can shape that energy and you can shift it and make it into something that you're very good at. 
and then five of wands and allow yourself to be allow yourself to be good at things it, when they when they when they when you're told don't brag well yes and no sometimes for a little while you need to brag why because you need to imprint that knowledge into your soul knowing I do know this I worked hard for it and I should be able to say hey I deserve this and so this one the five of wands it's showing off your abilities, demonstrating your abilities. It won't last, never does, because it becomes old hat, and it's not that, and you know it, and it's integrated into your, into your being. But you worked hard for it. If you deny it, then you're going to lose part of the energy you, you gain. So if you have 100% knowledge, and you say, oh, no, 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 I can't do that, then you lose maybe, I don't know what percentage, depends, up to 25%. So you're at 75% instead of 100%, but if you say, yes, I do that, I'm pretty good at it, and uh, then you take the energy and you put it into the earth. You give the pride to the earth. The earth has, has all the ability to handle and deal with it. You don't have to worry about it. Just accept that you are that good and that you have the right to be that good and you're leaving behind an old belief system that strength and strength is le leaving behind that which no longer serves so it doesn't serve you to not acknowledge who you are in fullness basically is what i'm telling you and when you acknowledge who you are in fullness then it cements into it and then you don't have to brag after that if you don't want to but people ask me are you good at what i do i say yes i am good at what i do and i am so put the effort in allow yourself to be good at what you are take it and be the truth and when you don't need it let the earth handle it namaste namasko i love you and you i do love